And what's going on fellow Machina users? This is your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. And I'm back on another one, this time with Machine 2.6.5 and Logic Pro 10. This is not a tutorial video. This is more or less just information for the members of www.VIPSoundLab.com. Uh, this is probably one of the most requested templates uh, that we're getting right now. So I figured, let me just go to bang this out really quick and get this to you guys. All right, so really fast and really easy. As you can see right here, I'm inside Logic Pro. Here's Machine 2.6.5. As you can see, here's some of the sounds. All right, so we just loaded some sounds on there, you know, just so you guys can see that the levels are sounding off here. And that drum kit is actually from our Carnage uh, Drums HD. All right, you can see right here, the work's already done. All the inputs, all the outputs, everything is set up. It's just ready to rock. So once you log into the member section, the only thing you have to do is just basically just go to your tracks. And let me just go ahead and uh, shrink this down a little bit so it makes it a little bit easier to see. Hold shift on the last record icon there and the original one here on all these tracks and get them armed like so increase the size back on that so you guys can see what's going on and as you can see right down there all the tracks are armed and they're flashing and that's pretty much it you know the midi notes if you're doing them inside a machine you could do it that way too some people bang out their sessions uh in machine you know if you put your midi notes in there you also can bounce them over here inside logic and you know do your mixing your mastering things of that nature so what you would do from that point is just press record and just waiting for the hum of that snare to clear out all right and then from that point you just, as you can see right here let me zoom in on that And we'll increase the size of that a little bit. All right, there's all the audio from those sounds. Now, I'm not trying to make a beat. I'm just showing you the flexibility of the template and how you can get your audio inside of Logic. And some some might say, okay, well, what's the point of that? Okay, well, the point of that has you know many reasons. You know, for creating stems. You know, if you're taking the template, the audio routings are preserved. Therefore, if you want to have longer samples on there for slicing and chopping, perhaps you might like the time slicing algorithms inside logic a lot better than machine you know a lot of pencil tools truncating not only that you have a lot of uh audio suites inside of you know logic you know if you're going to be doing some eq and uh, some sample eq of your stems and things of that nature i mean you have all the wonderful tools of logic and vice versa you also can use the audio plugins inside a machine if you're just you know perhaps you could be dropping an audio track on here and you know want to manipulate the audio using some of the machines plugins so whatever the case may be the template is a great starting point and the work is done and i can't emphasize the tedious uh work that it takes to get these inputs and outputs set up uh, in a template so it's a nice feature to have when all the work uh is completely done and again you know one feature for example let's click on uh this little audio stem right here and as you can see right here let's say for example i don't know for whatever reason uh let's say you were in here and you might have wanted to grab let's say the zoom tool maybe you were slicing and chopping some audio you want to come in here and you know really get really intricate and really fine in there you know just basically getting your sound design done you know and take advantage of logic for example logic has uh some really great time stretch algorithms in here as you can see right here such as universal complex percussive and a lot of legacy algorithms as well and other features such as uh, time stretch region linked to nearest bar, locators, we have analyze auto for flex editing. You know, all these good little tools are all in here inside of Logic. All right, and that's pretty much it. It's your boy Fontaine. Again, www.vipsoundlet.com. This is the machine 2.6.5 and Logic Pro 10 template. You know, if you have any questions or concerns, just email me direct. Just head over to the site, log in, and download your copy today. That's pretty much it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.